Okay, so I think we are live. Um, so I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, see if we can't get some people to join us live here and make sure that I'm on my channel. Okay, so yes, it looks like we are live. Okay, so today we're going to paint on some foam core, and I've done this one other time before. It was a learning lesson, so I thought I would do a video about it. I've been wanting to uh, paint with this frame for a long time. Uh, I found this frame with glass in it. Okay, uh, at the thrift store for $2.95, great deal. Um, I, one of the things I do wanna do in the future is see if I can paint on glass. It didn't occur to me until after I did this that I can prep the glass with the gesso, just like I do with used canvases. But what I've done today is I've cut a piece of foam core. It's a little bit thicker than the foam core that I used before. And what happened when I um, painted with on foam core before, did the paint pouring because there's so much paint, it kind of, it, it warped the foam core a little bit. After it dried, um, and I went to stretch it out, then it cracked the paint. I was really bummed because I loved the painting. So what I've done here is I've used some spray Gorilla Glue and I've attached it to the glass. Now, if this ends up not working out, then I can flip it over. I can prep the glass with the gesso and we can try again. <laughs> so, but meantime, this is what we're going to do today. Uh, the great thing, I think this, this frame with the glass at the thrift store cost me $2.95. So that was the great thing about uh, that. I've actually got a lot of frames with glass. Here's another one that I really look forward to using. I got this one for $3.95. Oh, I'm in the light. <clears throat> and it's got this really beautiful gold with some like purple muted into it, which I really love. So maybe we'll use this frame and this glass to try and actually paint on the glass. But anyway, so you know me, I like to try and repurpose. So what I thought I would do today we're just going to kind of go with the flow and see what happens. I really like the pattern that's in this. There's a couple of different shades of gold in here. There's a real bright gold. There's like an antique gold. There's not really white. So we're going to use a combination of colors. And what I think I would like to do but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I'm still undecided. I think I decided I was going to go with a open cup pour. But I don't know if that's going to end up being too busy. And so I'm kind of thinking that I might want to go minimalist on this and oh I don't know we're just going to go for it we're going to do the open cup pour technique so let's do that let me get some scissors so I hope everybody enjoyed the full moon I know that I did I took the opportunity to do a real nice deep cleaning in my house and I cleaned up my studio, which is very inspiring for me. Now that it's all cleaned up, I feel like I'm ready to go and continue to do painting. In future videos, I'm going to 
talk about some of the used canvases that I have, some of the ways that I also prepare my paintings to show at the gallery, the art gallery that I'm a, a member of. So those will be some future videos. So what I've done here is I've taken my cup, watch out for the cat hair. I've cut the bottom of it off and this is what's called an open cup pour. So first things first, let's talk about what colors I'm using. I've got Anita's black, which I have in two separate cups. One of them is going to be for my background. The other one's going to be for pouring around. I'm hoping to kind of, my, my vision here is to create a little galaxy. So... This is really still kind of thick. I might add some more water to this. So of course my uh, pouring medium is Floetrol. And we're just gonna put a little more water in this. Hello to anyone who is joining me and watching live. So I've got this mixed up pretty well. There we go, that's much better. Okay, the other colors that I have are Craft Smart Metallic Paint in Gold. Now, as you can see, this gold is like, compared to this gold, <laughs> looks very different. This gold is Artist Loft Old Gold. And then we also have Deco Art Golden Straw, which is this lighter yellow color yellow golden and the reason I chose this as well oops is because in that frame there was kind of a, a lighter in between the gold and so I kind of want some contrast in my gold colors and for my galaxy so let's see what we can come up with here this is actually the first time I've done an open cup. So let's check it out. Oh, one last thing I need to do. I am going to put one drop of silicone into each of these gold colors. Just one drop. One, one, one. Maybe I'll put two in this one. Oh, I got a lot. Oh, and I got it on the canvas. Okay. So that's going to help give us our cells in our galaxy, in our golden galaxy. That's the goal, is a golden galaxy. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my background out here. Now I had issues with this black, kind of found some clumps in it. So we'll see when I get done what I end up having to use a pin to pull out. So from here, I'm gonna put my cup on that. I think I want my outer ring We're going to put a little bit of the darker gold. 
And then I'm gonna go with the lighter. And then lighter still. Let's put a little bit of black. Just a little there. And then let's repeat. <laughs> there was a nice big clump of black there that I saw pour in. I've got a table. Oh, I kind of like what's happening here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look at how gorgeous that is. <laughs> I really like it. I like this here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a chopstick and I'm gonna swirl this out. Let's see, do I wanna use this gold here? I like it just like that. I don't, I don't think I want to go off the edge. That's a lot of paint though. Let's see.
<laughs> so, should I let it swirl off the sides? Maybe we'll do something different. Let's get the straw. And let's do something like this. I don't want to change my swirl over here. I like how it's flowing off the edges. So, or flowing out here. Let's start over on this side. Okay, I'm liking that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Like it. Here we go. What's happened over here? I've got this dot. Vicky, don't mess with it. Okay, we're going to do just a little bit right here.
Okay, I'm liking it. Let's put some fire on this. Torch it out. Okay, I like it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Oh, yes, that's going to look lovely. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <clears throat> Let's see if I've got anything in there that I need to fish out like my own hair. <laughs> I've got one right here. Look at that big clump. Did you see that? And another one right here. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with it anymore because that's what I tend to do is mess with it too much. And I really like this one. I don't think I have to mess with it anymore. I think it's going to be perfect. I don't see any more clumps or hairs or maybe a little one right here. Nope. No bubbles. It is perfect. So there you have it. My first open cup pour. I like the swirl that I've got going on. I like my galaxy effect. I love my cells. I think it's perfect. Let's take a look at the chat, see what's going on. All right. So we've got Mutate. Hello, welcome. Thank you for watching. Out of Mind. Hi, Out of Mind. Great to see you. Uh, <laughs> right on. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you really uh, enjoyed this. I, of course, am going to when it's completed and I have it framed, this will be one of the pieces that I actually show you my framing technique, uh, or the framing that I do for uh, gallery shows. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Much love to everyone. Bye now.